We're here with Air Force men's lacrosse team head coach Eric Saramet here for 2014 ECAC Lacrosse Media Day. We got a couple questions. First off, Coach, um, after seeing the team take the field for practice, how do you think they look uh, heading into the first weekend of competition? Well, I think this team's pretty excited to start the season. Um, you know, this is a group that's uh, proven to be pretty resilient. It's a group that's uh, been working hard and. Uh, uh, you know, stepping up to the plate, doing the things, uh, buying into the program, doing everything that's been asked of them. Uh, it's also a team that's been playing for, you know, the, the seniors at least been playing a lot of significant time for us. So they're they're pretty hungry and they wanna they wanna get after it this season. And uh, are there any major differences between this year's team compared to last year's? Uh, just another year hungrier. I think, um, you know, um, to just to continue on that, these guys have. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they've really been working so hard and putting so much into this, you know, time and energy into the program I and mean, into their schoolwork and the academy itself. And, you know, they really want that to pay off. And, uh, you know, uh, other than, you know, uh, graduating a goalie last year, ultimately we return everybody. So it uh, should be a pretty exciting year for us. Coach, what would you say your strengths are in this season and which areas would you identify as areas of uh, improvement or need of improvement? Well, I think our strengths lie in our senior class. Um, it's the first time in my time here as a head coach that uh, we've had a very veteran, experienced senior class. I think that'll be a strength. Um, I think our younger guys are going to be playing hard for those seniors, so I think that's uh, bringing a lot of unity to the table. Um, and uh, they're a hard working group. So uh, I think overall our strengths going to lie in our seniors, and we're going to be look looking to lean on them a lot this year. Uh, as far as weaknesses go, um, you know, uh, we are uh, day in, day out, learning how to be successful on the field. Um, we've had a lot of success off the field and, and have been grinding it out for, for several years now. And, and once our guys get that confidence to, uh, to expect to win on the field, I think, um, you know, I think we'll have good things come our way. I think it, it just is a weakness right now. It's just getting comfortable being successful. Are there any first-year players that the fans should be looking out for? Yeah, there's a couple, and you know, traditionally, uh, we've always had some freshmen enter the uh, uh, either the starting lineup or get some significant time, and I think no, this year is no different than uh, than any in the past. Um, you know, right now we're we're going to look hard to lean on a guy like Luke Toscano, who's a who's a, you know a Long Island defenseman for us, who's uh, just uh, showing the maturity and, and the ability to to step in right away, and and another uh, another one is uh, Austin Smith on the offense end of the field, just showing a lot of composure, a lot of maturity for his, for his class year. So yeah, there's going to be a couple new faces out there and, and hopefully we can look to others as well. Who do you think will be the sleeper team of the conference this season? Well, I'd like to think it's the Air Force Falcons. I think, um, you know, I think we have the ability to sneak up on some teams. Um, you know, I, I would love to think that we'd be overlooked and uh, we, like with the attitude we have in our locker room right now, there, there's a good chance that it, it could be the Falcons. And one last question, Coach. Any other thoughts on how the team or the ECAC conference as a whole will fare for the 2014 season? Well, you know, I think, um, you know, you got to think optimistically that this conference is going to be a strong one in its final year. Um, you know, certainly Ohio State had a great year last year, and, you know, there's, there's some teams in our conference that could, uh, you know, be sleepers out there as a whole. So I think um, the conference should fare pretty strongly, and, you know, like I said, we have a lot of optimism here in this in this locker room that the Air Force Falcons are going to come up and uh, sneak up on some teams as well. So, you know, a lot of optimism inside the league as well as in our locker room.